All right, so I've got my PC98 hooked up here, and I've also got it opened up, as you can see. And that's because one of the things I've been wanting to do to this computer for a long time, since I got it, was upgrade the processor. So I'm going to pull the floppy drive back here, and you can see the processor that's running in here. Just a plain old 486SX running at 33 megahertz. Now, if you'll notice, there's no upgrade socket, no overdrive socket, nothing like that. This is basically a uh, system that is designed to not be upgraded. This is a surface mount soldered chip. So really, you only have two options to upgrade this thing. You, you, you can either desolder this chip completely and solder in an upgrade, which would require some rewiring and some voltage regulators, and it would get a little messy and complicated. Or fortunately, uh, there are some very difficult to find CPU upgrades and I just so happen to have one right here. This is the uh, advanced core asset core technology Viper Power Multi 586 CS2 and this is designed for the PC98 CS2 and basically all this does is snaps on top of the surface mount processor it's got a socket on the bottom, and uh, it also allows you to either, you can either plug in a similar 5-volt CPU, or this one comes with an adapter that's got some dip switches. It's also got a voltage regulator, because a lot of the newer, or later, I should say, 486 CPUs ran at 3.3 or 3.45 volts. You know, they had about a 0.15-volt tolerance, so... Uh, you definitely couldn't just plug one of those into a 5-volt socket because you would fry it. But uh, with this little adapter, it's got the voltage regulator on it, and it also has an AMD AM5X86-P75, which is essentially a 486 DX4 at 133 megahertz. Now, stock is 33 megahertz, so uh, we are increasing the CPU horsepower fourfold which is pretty amazing. Can you, if you can imagine something like this today that would plug into a, a two gigahertz Core i7 and, and increase this, you know, just simply plug on top of the Core i7 and increase the CPU speed up to eight gigahertz, it would be uh, pretty amazing. So you just don't see stuff like this anymore, but definitely a cool piece. It, uh, it, these, are, these can be very difficult to find as any of these third-party CPU accelerators are. And, and that goes across any... Uh, any uh, hobbyist computer scene, like Amiga stuff or or uh, X68000 especially, they can all be extremely hard to find. But lucked out on this one, so install will be pretty simple. I apologize for all the lawn noise. My neighbors decided today's the perfect day to mow his lawn. All right, making sure it's secure. And there we have it, installed. As you can see, it's a nice fit. Should clear the floppy drive. As I mentioned before, it's designed for this computer. So what this will essentially do is disable the 486SX and then uh, enable this processor to take its place. So we should see a pretty decent performance gain. So I'm going to plug in the power here in the back. And I'm going to turn it on while it's open because I want to make sure this fan is going to spin. All right, we got a beep. So that's a good sign at least. All right, it's going to test the extended memory. So yeah, we're looking good. Everything's spinning. Okay, I'm going to test a game. It's a little CPU uh, intensive here. And this, this noise is just coming out of the internal speaker on the side of the case. There's one on each side.
All right, so obviously not going to be able to play this with one hand, but I do notice a slight increase, especially when I bomb. That's a little better, but I wouldn't say it's as, as impressive as I would have expected being uh, four times the uh, CPU horsepower, but uh, I'm not complaining. Just definitely not as much of a gain as I would have hoped. All right, so one more thing I want to look at here. I've got a little CPU utility on here that works fine for DOS, you know, typical IBM compatible DOS machines. But it will report the proper CPU, but it won't give me an accurate speed. It's reporting the GDC clock on the PC98. So it's going to say it's something like 2 megahertz, but just out of curiosity, I'm wanting to see make sure it's reporting the AMD CPU because obviously the original was Intel. Yep, okay, so there you go. So it's clock multiplier four times, uh, internal clock speed, <laughs> internal CPU speed, 2.4 megahertz, 0.6 megahertz bus, of course. Authentic AMD vendor string, AMD 5X86-133, P75, X5. Boy, they were really marketing the... Uh, <laughs> Trying, trying to compete with the Pentium chips. That's what the P75 is for. It's not actually 75 megahertz. It runs at 133, but it's referencing being equally as fast as a Pentium processor running at 75 megahertz. So there's all the, uh, the CPU ID uh, strings, the stepping and all that fun stuff. Uh, pretty interesting that it doesn't report the correct clock speed, but I'm guessing it just has something to do with the way that the PC98 is set up that's different from a uh, standard IBM compatible PC. So there you have it. Uh, CPU is upgraded. That's about the easiest way you can do it. Uh, definitely pretty cool. I'll give it uh, some testing with some other games and uh, let you guys know how it works.